Namaste. Greetings from Chennai School of Music Therapy to all the delegates who are present here to attend this prestigious conference on the theme, Role of Music Therapy in Promoting Solidogenesis. And I welcome you all to this lecture on the topic, Medical Music Therapy Practices with Solidogenic Focus. Before beginning the presentation, I would like to thank profusely the organizers of the Second International Health Research Convention 2023 from the Institute of Cellulogenesis and Complementary Medicine of Shibalaji Vidyapi for inviting me to give a talk on this topic. Now let's move on to the presentation of the lecture. During this lecture, the delegates will be introduced to a brief history of music therapy in India, music therapy practice with a cellulogenic focus in hospitals, and use of music as a self-care preventive healthcare strategy in hospitals. Until the last decade, the understanding of music therapy practices in India was based on justifying traditional music healing practices, which were passed on from generations to generations based on the belief system. But these last 10 plus years, music therapy as an evidence-based practice has been established with the advent of professional training programs which are offered in universities and private schools and building adequate research evidence simultaneously to support practice. The belief-based practices are now replaced by scientifically validated practices. An integrated model of traditional practices have been applied rather than the traditional standalone model of music therapy in training, practice and research. In the year 2012, for the first time in India, Chennai School of Music Therapy Private Limited, based in Chennai, in a pioneering effort, established a hybrid model of an online teaching program in music therapy. This program is a one-year postgraduate diploma in music therapy, which offers 750 hours of in-person clinical internship training in hospitals and special education settings. This was a period when the online mode of music therapy teaching and learning was unknown and unfamiliar. This hybrid model of a one-year online teaching program facilitated training more qualified music therapists and supported the development, growth and expansion of music therapy as a profession across the country in the last decade. The training program uses various methods of synchronous teaching strategies and different styles of teaching, drawing teachers from interdisciplinary fields, having formative and summative assessments, and using the modern evaluation methods of learning outcomes that combine both Indian traditions and science. In 2014, a landmark development was initiated by the erstwhile Center for Music Therapy Education and Research Unit of the mm. prestigious Pondicherry-based Shibalaji Vidya Peeth, the Health Sciences University. The center set up the first ever university-based one-year postgraduate diploma program and introduced music therapy outpatient and inpatient services as a part of routine medical care in the hospital attached to this university. This eventually led to introducing a plethora of courses in music therapy from the master's degree in medical music therapy to a PhD program in music therapy. And simultaneously, the center carried out high quality clinical research to back evidence-based practice in music therapy. Prior to the year 2014 and since the year 2009, this center has been functioning as a music and medicine unit of the university and has been recently upgraded as the School of Music Therapy and is currently functioning as a unit of the Institute of Cellulogenesis and Complementary Medicine of Shibalaji Vidyapit, which was established in the year 2022. Shibalaji Vidyapit has been forerunners in developing and establishing music therapy services as a part of regular medical care under the ambit of integrative care to patients indicating that a holistic approach of treating a person is important and that hospitals have to incorporate health promoting mechanisms taking into account the wider determinants of health to be 
biological, psychological, social, cultural and ecological factors. Chennai School of Music Therapy has also been training music therapists in medical music therapy with a salutogenic focus and facilitating hospital-based internship programs till date. And I had the privilege of developing and setting up these music therapy programs under my leadership in both Shibalaji Vidya Peet and Chennai School of Music Therapy. Curing is not the end of the story. Healing also is important to complete the recovery process of the patients, said Professor Kya Seturaman, the then Vice Chancellor of Shibalaji Vidya Peet University, Pondicherry, and is a practitioner of general medicine. He was the one who was instrumental in introducing patient care services with salutogenic focus in the modern medical care. What is salutogenesis? If you have to understand this, then we have to know what is pathogenesis. Pathogenesis is focusing on factors which influence the cause of the disease, how to treat and cure the disease. When patients visit the hospital, the treatment focused by the healthcare professionals is primarily pathogenesis. And now we will see what is cellulogenesis. Cellulogenesis, according to Aaron Antonovsky, a medical sociologist who coined this term, is focusing on holistic health measures and factors influencing the health and wellness of the patients rather than merely treating the disease. Cellulogenesis is to support principles of pathogenesis and also to focus on people's resources and their capacity to create health and prevent illness altogether. Cellulogenesis applies to healing methods as a holistic intervention for health and wellness instead of just the disease treatment. As a music therapist, we understand music and music therapy practices where roots lie in philosophical background and cultural origin also aim to restore health. From time immemorial, Indian music Shastra, Ayurveda Shastra and Yoga Shastra have guided us on the importance of taking a proactive approach to self-care using these mind-body practices to maintain physical health, balance, flexibility, social support and spirituality. Quoting Charaka Sutra Sthana, Sharira Indriya Sattvam, Atma Sanyoga Dhari Jeevitam, Nitya Gascha, Anubandha Gascha, Pariyaya Yi Ayu Uchyate. In Ayurveda, Ayur or life is a combination of body, senses, mind and consciousness. Its synonyms are Nityaga, that which is going on constantly and Anubandha, which is the uninterrupted succession. Similarly, quoting a sloka from the music treatise Sangeeta Ratnakara. Atma Vivaksha Mano I am Manaha Prirayate Manaha Dehastam Vanim Ahantisa Prirayati Marutam Brahma Granti Sthitaha So Atta Kramat Urdhava Patecharan Nabi Krit Khanda Murda As Yeshu Avir Bhavayati Dhvani what is the meaning of this sloka? Whenever there is a desire to speak or sing by the Atma, which is the consciousness, it stimulates the mind, which in turn excites the digestive fire in the body, situated near the omblicus, which again stimulates the vayu, which travels upwards from the nabi, which is the omblicus, hridai, which is the heart, Ganta, which is the throat, and Murta, which is the head, Asya, which is the mouth, to manifest or produce a sound. These two slokas from the 
Ayurveda and the music Shastra indicate that Indian traditions understood the relationship between the body and the mind and integrated these traditional practices in the art of healthy living and music existed as a mind-body practice through singing, chanting and meditative practice for taking care of health in everyday life. Music as a mind-body practice increases resilience and sense of coherence to overcome illness which becomes the foundation for better health in future. In this connection, you may recall definitions of music therapy interventions to restore, improve and sustain health by improving the physical, social, communicative, emotional, cognitive and spiritual health and well-being. Integrating music as a self-care strategy into clinical applications and quality assurance processes of health-promoting organizations in the medical field. A general salutogenic orientation in hospitals for music therapy would be to set up or to provide an optimum healing environment with music and introduce music therapy interventions to support pathogenesis with a holistic approach to treatment and also use music as a resource strengthening approach to support recovery, maintain, restore or improve health of patients and offer integrative care to support patients. This strategy would empower them through their patient journey and not just the short hospital stay. Music therapy interventions in hospitals facilitate and expedite recovery as a restorative healthcare strategy and maximize functioning as a palliative care strategy when cure is not possible. Some of the broad areas of music therapy clinical work as a restorative healthcare practice may be procedural support, pain management, mental health, neurological rehabilitation and other pediatric applications. Providing music as a health and self-care resource also helps to increase resilience and heal as a preventive healthcare strategy. Music as a health and self-care resource helps one to take time to care and to nourish themselves, to counter negative outcomes like burnout, to increase resilience and heal as a preventive healthcare measure. On one hand, patient visits hospital on emergency basis, but on the other hand, people also visit for preventive health checkup programs. Pregnant women visit for prenatal checkups. These populations are not patients, but they, however, visit the hospital. With these people, the focus is not supporting pathogenesis in the form of music therapy interventions, but presenting music in the form of awareness and sensitization program about the relationship between music and health and music therapy applications. Advice on the use of music in everyday life to reduce stress and sustain or improve health. These are the methods to adopt a salutogenic approach using music to increase the ability to refill and refuel oneself in healthy ways. Use of music to improve the sucking ability in newborns as a part of breastfeeding sensitization programs is another way to use music with a salutogenic focus. Music therapists introduce music as a health resource and empower the hospital staff, students, and reduce their work or study-related stress and develop positive feelings, emotions, moods, and thoughts. And positive health at work is another way to focus on salutogenesis. Further, community health needs assessment is a priority for hospitals and help neighboring communities promote their health and cope with their environment without stress. Engaging in health promoting collaborations between hospitals and other external organizations with a community focus to improve the health and well-being of elderly, 
transgender and the disabled communities is also a step towards targeting health and wellness. To conclude, salutogenic focus in hospitals require a broader application of music and music therapy interventions to restore and to improve the health of patients. Also, it is use of music as a resource for public health oriented preventive health care programs for the public visiting the hospital, the hospital staff and students, doctors working in the hospitals and in the environment communities to develop positive health. What is important is understanding and distinguishing between music therapy interventions and using music as a self and healthcare activity. After training as music therapists, the work opportunities are diverse and the applications are diverse across the globe in different regions. The best opportunity is the one in which the therapist is able to fit in exactly and brings about a positive change with a family or community or patients with whom one works, whatever the contest be, a hospital or a community or a rehabilitative center or a public health program. Thank you for the patient hearing.